my channel if you're new here hi i'm jesse thank you so much for stopping by today today's video is going to be open collaboration with my friend here on youtube uh her name is sarah her channel name is home sweet homes i will leave her channel link down below for you guys make sure you go check that out as well as the playlist for this collaboration uh we're going to be making like a homemade candy bar uh, so today's video was supposed to be a grocery haul, but then I remembered that I did have this collaboration after I had posted my uh, last video. Um, so yeah, today is not a, obviously a grocery haul. We're doing this collaboration. And then I was gonna do my grocery haul tomorrow instead, but the grocery haul didn't really happen. Renee got car sick, so me trying to film anything when we got home just was not gonna happen. Um, so unfortunately, I don't have a grocery haul for you guys this week, but I will have one for you next week So don't you worry Anyways, uh, yeah, let, I'm gonna make a homemade Twix bar today uh, It kind of is like a Twix bar more so if you stick it in the fridge, you'll see Anyways, let's get to making it. So we're gonna be making homemade Twix today and it's gonna be gluten-free If you're not gluten-free, you could do this with regular graham crackers and that would make it you know, not gluten free. We're gonna be using these Shars gluten free honey rims today, though. So I already have it open. I'm only gonna make two of these. I'm not gonna make like a whole bunch because we're gonna be making a ton of sweets coming up here where it's Christmas. Let's go ahead and put two of those down. And then I have some Mrs. Richardson's caramel. That. We're going to spread it onto the graham cracker. saran wrap over this and we're going to stick these in the freezer for probably about 10 minutes before we're going to dip it into our melted almond bark. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and put saran wrap over the top of these and then um, I will bring you back when we dip them. So I'm going to go ahead and pull those out of the freezer. I have some parchment paper right here that we're gonna set them on once we coat them in chocolate. I am doing almond bar chocolate because I need to get rid of that. You can just do regular chocolate chips if you want. I went ahead and melted it in the microwave. So I'm gonna take this, go ahead and flip it in your chocolate. Get it coated. We're gonna set it on the parchment paper. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other one. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mist. All right, and then you're gonna let it cool. And I've got And you're just gonna leave it on the counter, and it'll cool and harden. And then we can eat them. Right, here they are all finished. We're gonna go do a little taste test. All right, we're gonna do a little taste test on these homemade Twix. The caramel's fantastic. I just dumped my finger in it. Look at that. Oh my. Oh yes. Alright, let's taste it. If you want to feel a little more like a Twix, because the caramel and a Twix is a little bit harder, go ahead and stick these in the fridge. This almost reminds me of like a turtle, um, especially where it has that almond bark instead. But either way, homemade candy, delicious. Mm. All right, thanks 
so much for coming along with today. I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully you try this recipe. It is super delicious and perfect for the holiday season. Who doesn't like to make homemade candy? It's a lot cheaper to make it at home than it is to buy it in store, especially with the upraise of prices on everything. And you can make more of them. And it's nice to give, you know, to like family members if you're gonna give out little treats for Christmas. I don't know, some ideas. Make sure that you go ahead and check out Sarah's channel as well as everybody else that joined in on this collaboration. See what kind of homemade candy they made. I can't wait to go watch everybody else's videos. Um, and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, press that like button, subscribe to my channel, and click that little notification bell button so you're notified every time I post a new video. And I'll see you next one. Bye guys. Tomorrow.